Hi, I'm Kim Ho. In this series, we'll be talking to people who have interesting, inspiring, or intriguing stories to tell. This week, we meet Tan Siu Ling, who is deaf blind. Siu Ling lost her sight when she was 11. Despite this, she completed her education and even obtained a degree in finance and economics. Two years ago, she lost her hearing as well, but she never lost her optimism. Thanks to employers and co-workers who are willing to accommodate her needs and redesign her work scope, she's doing well at the enabling village where she works in the Capability Development Division. Siu Ling hopes that people will not focus on disabilities, but learn to appreciate different abilities instead. This is her story. For people to communicate with me, I actually have a portable Bluetooth QWERTY keyboard, which is also connected to my phone. So whatever things or messages that people type on the Bluetooth keyboard, it will appear on the real display. With the advancement in technology, it could be um, new challenges, um, new opportunities. Discover how else may I be able to contribute, paying it forward. It all started with I not being able to see the words on the blackboard and I keep bumping into things. But when the optician tried to correct my vision, they were unable to do so. So I was then um, referred to an eye specialist. They discovered that I have optic atrophy, which is the degeneration of the optic nerve. I was very sad, there was a lot of crying and I felt like why is this happening to me? It was very difficult for me and as well as my family to accept that someone who is normal is going to um, lose one of the senses. My parents took turns to read aloud the text on my textbook so I could do my homework. My father would be reading Chinese homework to me and my, my mother would be helping me with my English related homework. I have an older brother who is three years my senior. So when our father passed away, he was 16, he was sitting for O level and then I guess it was very difficult for him because he then became the only male in the family and he had to shoulder on the responsibility to take care of us. I manage the calendar and scheduling of meetings for our CEO. I also do accessibility check for websites and our materials at SG Enable. Besides all this, I have a column on the enabling guide 
where I write about my experience as someone with a disability. Everyone in SGN, but the bosses are very supportive, understanding, patient, and nurturing, and willing to provide advice when when we face difficulties in our tasks. Losing the sense of hearing is way, way, way more difficult and harder than losing the sense of sight. Everything which I used to be able to hear in the past, now I can only just feel and touch. Now if there is something that I need to hear or I need to be informed, there is a lack. I need someone to type to me, convey the message for me to read and then verbalize my response. I am still trying to adapt and readjust. There are many things that I require assistance. For instance, getting around places, meeting friends. Now, what I can only do is reading. Besides reading, I also run with a group of friends and I have a um, workout session with my personal trainer on a weekly basis. Everyone has their own needs and face their own difficulty. Not only just the disabled, if the society, if people around us are willing to take some time to understand the individual, we will then be able to have a more empathetic and compassionate environment around.